a little backstory. I was 159 pounds one week ago. It's time. Good morning, it is Christmas Day. It has been exactly one week since my excursion over 26.2 miles, two hours 52 minutes, and I am dying to go for a run. I was actually supposed to wait until Wednesday to go running, but I decided I don't want to wait. Uh, I'm itching and I'm going to eat a lot of Christmas food today. So I'm going to go for my first run back, an easy 40 minutes. I have already checked my weight today since the race. And I prepared nutritionally by eating seven Ferrero Rocher candies and a cup of coffee. So I took one week totally off, no running, just eating to let my body, let my mind recover a bit because once I start training, I don't stop. I'm very excited this week. I'm gonna run every other day. So today is Monday. I will run again on Wednesday, on Friday, etc. After one week of this, I will start running every day and it's gonna be very, 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 very easy at first. So I've gained a little bit of weight since my race, that's okay. Totally planned. Now I'm going to have to start chipping away at it again and kind of decrease it little by little. I'm not really worried about how I'm going to feel because I'm not going to feel amazing. I'm not going to feel terrible. I'm just going to feel kind of blah. Some people, they worry about taking a long period of time off after a race because they're going to lose fitness. There's no way that's going to happen that quickly after a race. You could take one week off, two weeks off. Your performance might decrease a little bit. Well, not too much. You take six months off, that's a different story. Recovery is extremely important. We get faster when we sleep, not when we're running, when we sleep. So I've been chilling for a week. I've been eating, sleeping, pigging out. I'm gonna go get back on the horse.